Okay, so actually at this point, the airplane should be ready to fly, but it's really important that we do a pre-flight just to be sure that the control surfaces are moving in the direction that we, that we intend them to as far as the stability system. Um, we set that during orientation, and you know we assume we got the orientation correct. Of course, we have auto orientation, which pretty much ensures you do, but this is a last minute check before we put the aircraft in the air. And of course, you'll need to throttle up. By the way, the gyro is not active until you throttle up. So you'll, um, we've been doing all the testing here with no prop on, and of course, we would suggest that. So throttle up. So the gyro is not active until you throttle up for the first time each time you plug the battery in. And that's uh, kind of a safety thing. And it's also so that when you walk the airplane around, you know, you move it around, you're not just getting servo output. So now the gyro functions should be operational. In fact, you can hear and you can see as I rotate the aircraft, you know, you can hear and see the servos move. Now, what we're trying to do is to determine that everything is working in the correct direction. Now, I've been doing this for years and for years I kind of struggled. Hey, right bank, this one goes up, that one goes down, rudder and it really got confusing. Well, I kind of figured out, or I, we, a bunch of us figured out a really simple way to do this test. So, come over to any control surfaces, makes no difference. If it's, this happens to be the left aileron, since it's here, it's convenient, I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one. So, lift it up towards you, okay? So lift up, and if the surface is being corrected in the right direction, this will also go up. So up here, and indeed, I'm getting up aileron. I can feel it, I can see it. The aileron's coming up slightly as I lift it. It'd be the same thing if I step to the right-hand side, I lift up and the aileron comes up. So think of up, 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 up. You go back to the elevator. If I lift up, yep, the elevator's going up, okay? Now you say, well, John, this doesn't work for the rudder. Well, for the rudder, if you have a small aircraft, you tilt the airplane so that it's on its side and you lift the rudder up and yep sure enough if I lift the rudder up it goes up so if you have a big airplane you know you, it's gonna be pretty tough for you to pick up and so there's another solution so think this with the aileron elevator um, no matter which aileron you're on lift that surface and if it's correcting in the right direction that surface should go up with the rudder if you turn it on its side and you lift it up up is up if it's too big, the airplane's too big to do that, think about this. If I move the rudder to the right, the rudder should also move to the right. So right is right. So up is up and right is right. So that's easy. So it's very important before you fly. Of course, you're gonna check all this stuff out on the ground, be sure that everything's working in the right direction. So on your first flight, especially on your first flight, be sure that you take off with the gyro turned off. So the uh, gains, of course, if I move things around now, nothing moves. So that first time you're gonna test fly, you can get it up to up in the air, then you're gonna flip to flight mode two, you're gonna you know, check out the gains. If they're good, then go to flight mode three, and then you're gonna land and adjust those gains. So that's what you need to do before you fly. Now give it a shot.